So we have an integral that appears to fit the form of a trigonometric substitution. So recall if you have an integral of the form u squared minus a squared, then u is equal to a secant theta. So in this case, we can think of 16 as 4 squared. And so a is 4 and u is x. So our substitution will be x equals 4 secant theta. Computing dx, we end up with dx equals 4 secant theta tangent theta d theta. So we've made our substitution, we've computed dx, so we've taken care of the dx, we've taken care of the x. Now let's go ahead and rewrite this piece and figure out what it is. So this is the square root of x squared minus 16, which is equal to the square root of, well let's see, x is 4 secant theta, so we're squaring both pieces, so it's 16 secant squared theta minus 16. Here we can factor out a 16, so we get the square root of 16, and then square root secant squared theta minus 1. This is 4. Secant squared minus 1 is tangent squared. And here we end up with 4 tangent theta. So now we're ready to make our substitution. So let's go ahead and do it very carefully. So we have the integral of, let's see, we've worked out the numerator. We said that was 4 tangent theta. So 4 tangent theta. We've also worked out dx. We said that's 4 secant theta tangent theta d theta. So that's going to be parentheses 4 secant theta tangent theta d theta. And it's all being divided by x. And we said x was 4 secant theta. So this is 4 secant theta. We lose the secants. We lose a 4. And so we're left with, looks like, 4 tangent squared theta d theta. Using the identity, 1 plus tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta, we know that tangent squared is secant squared minus 1, just as before. So this is 4 secant squared theta minus 1, and then we have the d theta. Let's go ahead and break this up into two integrals. So this will be the integral of 4 secant squared theta d theta minus 4 d theta. To integrate secant squared, we just think what is a function whose derivative is secant squared? Tangent. So this is 4 tangent theta minus, and then we have 4 theta plus our constant. So now we have to go back and write everything in terms of x. So what we'll do is we'll use this equation, x equals 4 secant theta, to create a triangle. So to do that, we'll divide by 4. So we have secant of theta equals x over 4. And now recall so ka toa. We have so ka toa. So if we draw our triangle, Here's theta, and here we have the secant function. So secant is 1 over cosine, so it's ha. So it's hypotenuse over adjacent. So in this case, the hypotenuse is x, and the adjacent is 4. If we call this side b, we can use the theorem of Pythagoras to find b. Subtracting 16, or 4 squared rather, we get x squared minus 16 equals b squared, and so b is the square root of x squared minus 16. That's precisely the term that appeared in our original integral. So this is x squared minus 16. Now using the triangle, we can finish the question. So we have 4, and let's see, so ka toa, oa, so opposite over adjacent. So this is the opposite, the little b, so square root x squared minus 16 over adjacent, which is 4, minus 4 times theta. Now we know that the secant of theta is equal to x over 4. So secant takes theta and gives us x over 4. 
So the arc secant takes x over 4 and gives us back theta. So theta is arc secant of x over 4. And we still have the plus c. So the final answer is the square root of x squared minus 16 minus 4 arc secant of x over 4 plus a constant c. And that's it.